Traumasaurus Bex started as a much needed outlet. The stress was mounting over the summer of 2020. The mandated isolation on top of my pre-existing CPTSD and various other trauma-related mental health struggles. It just became too much. To the point I experienced a full mental breakdown and lost touch with reality for about three weeks. After making it through that, I needed a place to vent. Art has always been an outlet for me. Using comics specifically as an outlet of expression was not a new thing. Even in high school, I would draw little comics in my planner, expressing my hopes, fears, and pain. There was so much that I couldn't express in any way at that time. So much repressed trauma. But I wouldn't truly realize this until much later. At first, for this project, I kept the art simple. I did this for a couple reasons. I could produce them fairly fast, as my life at that point offered little free time to draw. As well, in the hopes I could reuse some of the art with different concepts and thoughts over time making it more accessible as an immediate release for my current struggles. It worked well, allowing me to express a lot of my frustrations, symptoms, and trauma in the moment, as well as some of my hopes and gratefulness. I have toyed with the idea of a motion comic for a while, and I had always had an interest in video editing. All of this sort of evolved in this slow growth of how I wanted to portray my art and what Traumasaurus Bex is. The real linchpin was finding a great source for copyright-free music that had the energy and tone to go with my work. The artists aim to head really provided that. I absolutely adore their work and the tracks they produce. I felt these elements really brought my artwork to life in a way I started to hate less. It added a sense of life where I had always felt my work felt a bit dead. I honestly don't know if I had done anything before that was this much of a raw expression. I had done a comic previously that was based on my experiences with PTSD and trauma, but there is something much more visceral about this new character, Traumasaurus Bex. It's almost as if she was birthed from the remains of my proxy story. Almost a vessel to hold my trauma and its associated rage. Her true self is masked by the visage of trauma itself, though sometimes her human self is also depicted as a mask. She very much embodies the chaotic nature of my childhood trauma, and if she is not allowed this space to be her monstrous self, her chaos threatens to spill out into my real life and start tearing everything down.